Hey everybody, Dave here for Beast Camera. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about a new set of triggers that we have here at the store from Cactus. And here in front of me, I have two different sets of triggers, the V6-2s, which will work with Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Panasonic, and Pentax, and the V6-2S, which will work with the Sonys. Um, these are great trigger system that are capable of doing high speed spink and each one of these is a transceiver so it means it'll work both as a transmitter and a receiver so let's go ahead and unbox one and take a look at it so very simple packaging on top you got your instruction manual and then right below it you got the trigger itself it comes with a nice little stand if you need to put it on one and let's go around with the trigger here so on the side, you got your power button that says uh, either RX or TX switch, depending on which way you want to go. Uh, you got your micro USB port and a three and a half millimeter sync port. Um, on top of that, you got your ABCD buttons. On the back, you got your command dial, you got your OK button and your menu button. And then on the other side, you got your battery slot for two AA batteries to power this up. Now, like I said, this will do high speed sync unless you have a Fuji XE2. Uh, as of right now, that is not supported on that camera, but I'm hoping that in a future firmware update that will be resolved. So, th with these triggers, you can set up to um, 16 channels or three groups. And it also has a multi master mode, which is really nice if you will need multiple people to be able to trigger the same flashes. So, if you're, say, a wedding shooter and you want your second shooter, uh, to be able to trigger the same flashes, you could do it with this uh, trigger system, which is, I think, a really nice uh, option to have. They have a TTL pass-through hot, uh, uh, hot shoe on top, and then they have a 3.5mm uh, sync cord, so you can plug these into monolights and not just flashes. The interface is very easy to use, very intuitive. You really don't need a lot of reading of instructions to figure out how to use these. Um, I would suggest doing a firmware update. If you purchase these, make sure you're on the latest version. They are constantly releasing firmware updates so you get the most out of these triggers. They retail for $95 each, so for $200, you can basically get a nice set of these triggers, and I highly recommend them. Also, one of our newer employees, Alex, that works on the weekends, he is also an ambassador for Cactus Triggers, so if you'd like to see a more in-depth video of this with him uh, explaining and showing how to set these up, uh, let me know down in the comments section and I will see if I can wrangle him in to do a video with me to show everything that these cactus transmitters can do. So if you'd like to pick up a set for yourself, come on down to see us. We're at 5039 Falls News Road in the Quail Corner Shopping Center, Corner Falls News in Millbrook, or give us a call here at the store, 919-836-2222. So if you like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as I put out new videos every single Friday. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified by email every time a new video goes live. And that's going to do it for this week's video, and I'll see you all next week.